With game one just two days away, the city of Boston is gearing up for the finals. Not only is the city gearing up for the finals, our Jericho Tran is as well. She's joining us live from the garden with the very latest here, Jericho. <laughs> You can see I already have my swag with me. Colton, you saw me get this. This is a gift from our director, Kristen. Thank you so much. We also have some really good news. So for the first time ever, there are going to be watch parties here for the away games, games three and four. So you're taking a look at the arena. Imagine this arena. I know it's empty now, but just imagine with me. Imagine this arena full of people for those away games and the, uh, the jumbotron here filled with the game. There's going to be so much energy here. I've covered uh, the playoffs over the last couple months here and I can tell you fans get really excited so that is going to be awesome now this is the second NBA finals for the team in three years and 23rd finals for the team overall a couple things to remember when heading to the game no public consumption of alcohol people don't drink and drive also there will be several street closures within the area including Causeway Street and Canal Street remember that folks take notes there will also be high police presence fans are asked to come early to make time for bag checks and to get through traffic the governor and the police Commissioner had some stuff to say. Here's what they had to say. There's zero tolerance for any type of violence or property damage in and around the area, uh, you know, all year long, long, just not during the series. We're going to be working closely with the T, with the city, with the Boston Police Department. Thank you, Commissioner Cox, to do all that we can to make sure that things are running smoothly. We want people to have a fun time. We want people to have a safe time. And I know we are all going to have an awesome time. Oh, yeah, it is going to be an awesome time here. Listen, I know it's empty right now, but this arena is going to be full of people. In fact, the scoreboard already has Celtics and Mavericks, and I'm just imagining the Celtics being up by at least 50 points within the first quarter. Listen, I'm just calling it right now. All of that starting on Thursday. Bring your Celtics swag. Game one, Thursday, people. That's the very latest here at TD Garden. Jericho Tran, NBC10 Boston. Drink